Yo, what's up everybody? Today we got something kind of cool. If you fly FPV quads, you'll know two things. Uh, flying with and without a camera, uh, specifically a GoPro, are two very, very different um, feelings for your quad. And second, because you own one of these, you know the pressure and the feeling uh, and the cost associated with crashing and then having to repair or buy a new one of these. So I potentially have a solution to those problems. You probably have both of those problems, one of them being the different flight characteristics with and without the weight of your GoPro or any of your other cameras as an example. And then the other one being, what happens when I crash this? Um, it's expensive, I can't afford it. So what I have is a dummy GoPro. Now, depending on where you live, you can print one of these out of TPU, get it 3D printed, fill it with coins and do something very similar. But like most of us in this FPV quad world or in this action sports world, already have old GoPro housings potentially lying around the house. So why not use something like this? All you're gonna need for this is a old GoPro housing that doesn't have any holes in it, obviously, um, none of those protective housings. You need a waterproof housing, ideally. You're gonna need some coins and you're gonna need bubble wrap. And then that's pretty much it. You can essentially weigh up the exact weights in this and then this, and then you'll have yourself a perfectly working dummy GoPro that's not gonna cost you anything when you eventually do crash your drone. Now, it's pretty simple to make this, obviously, uh, you're just going to need the shell, um, the GoPro housing. You're going to put your coins inside there, layer them up layer by layer with, uh, with the coins uh, and the bubble wrap alternating and eventually ending with a bubble wrap layer on the back so that it squeezes everything inside the camera. If you've done it correctly, you shouldn't feel any wobbling, shaking, moving around of the coins. You don't want any of that to happen because that'll give you unreliable uh, flight characteristics. You don't want any weight moving around your drone or your quad when you're flying. Others might choose to glue this in. Uh, you can do that too. I've just chosen it to do it this way in case I maybe change GoPros down the line and then this way I always have um, a shell that I can fill with the appropriate weight so that I can practice. Now, that's the most important thing about this is that you can now practice with the weight of a GoPro on your quad without having to worry about crashing it and the cost associated with the same. A great thing about these GoPro housings is they're obviously made exactly the same with the same mounting systems as the newer GoPros. So this will slot perfectly into your quad if it's set up to take your GoPro. So no need for any extra mountings at all. It'll work basically the same. In my case, I just have um, the old, uh, old school kind of clip in uh, mounts which I've zip tied onto my quad and I can just slide these one in for another whenever I choose to do so. That's it. You have two things. They work effectively identically for practicing and then when you're ready and confident and capable you can go out with your actual GoPro and film the footage that you want to get. Pretty short video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did be sure to leave a comment down below. Leave a thumbs up if you liked the video and maybe you can consider subscribing. If you don't that's also cool. I'll see you guys around in another video. Bye for now. Thank you.